Have you ever wondered what time truly is? It's an abstract concept, a human-made construct that's as elusive as it is omnipresent. It's a common thread that weaves through the fabric of our existence, yet it remains an enigma. Different cultures perceive time in unique ways. For some, time is a linear journey, moving from the past, through the present, and into the future. For others, it's a cyclical process, a wheel turning in infinite circles. Yet no matter how we perceive it, time continues its relentless march forward, indifferent to our interpretations. From a scientific perspective, time is a crucial component of our universe. It's the fourth dimension, intimately intertwined with space, shaping the cosmos and everything within it. It's a fundamental aspect of reality, playing a pivotal role in everything from the motion of celestial bodies to the behavior of subatomic particles. So, let's embark on a journey to understand time from the very beginning. Time as we know it began with a colossal event known as the Big Bang. This mind-bending event, which took place roughly 13.8 billion years ago, is not merely a point in our universe's past, it's the backdrop to the stage on which the grand drama of existence unfolds. Imagine a hot, dense state of singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature where the laws of physics, as we understand them, break down. This was the initial condition of the universe, a state of existence so extreme and so different from anything we can currently comprehend. This singularity, in a moment of cosmic upheaval, exploded. The Big Bang was not an explosion in space as we typically imagine it, but an explosion of space itself. It was the birth of the universe, the creation of all matter and energy that we see around us today. Space expanded, temperatures cooled, and as they did, the basic building blocks of matter began to form. And with this momentous event, the concept of time was born. Time and space, two aspects of the same fabric, came into existence together. Before the Big Bang, there was no before. The concept of before implies a progression of time, a succession of events. But without the universe, without space, there can be no time. The Big Bang marked the beginning of time as we understand it. It set the cosmic clock ticking, marking the passage of moments, days, years and eons. It's like the first tick of a clock at the start of a new day, the chiming of a bell, signaling the start of a race. And so, from this event, from this initial singularity, our universe was born. An expanse of space and time, filled with galaxies, stars, planets and life. All of it, every atom in your body, every star in the sky, started with the Big Bang. With the Big Bang, the ticking of the cosmic clock had begun. In the wake of the Big Bang, the universe began to cool and expand, a process that continues to this day. Picture this, a dense hot soup of particles rapidly cooling and spreading out, giving birth to the cosmos as we know it. This expansion is not merely a spreading of galaxies across space, but an actual stretching of space itself. Now let's introduce a concept that might sound like it's straight out of a science fiction novel, the arrow of time. Unlike an arrow shot from a bow, this one isn't tangible, but it's just as real. It's the idea that time has a preferred direction, a forward trajectory from the past to the future. But what gives time this direction? Why do we remember yesterday, but not tomorrow? This is where the universe's cooling and expansion come into play. They're intimately linked with another concept, entropy or disorder. As the universe expands, it moves from a state of low entropy or high order to high entropy or disorder. We can think of the arrow of time as being dragged along by this increase in entropy. Imagine a box of gas particles. If we start with all the particles in one corner, a state of low entropy, they'll naturally spread out over time, moving towards a state of high entropy. This is a one-way process. The particles won't spontaneously return to the corner. This is a simple example of how time's arrow points from past to future. It's a fascinating concept, isn't it? The expansion and cooling of the universe, the increase in entropy, and the arrow of time are all interconnected, each playing a part in the cosmic dance that shapes our universe. The arrow of time, propelled by the universe's expansion, points us towards an unknown future. As we journey forward in time, 
we continue to explore the mysteries of the cosmos, ever eager to uncover what lies ahead. So let's keep traveling and who knows what we'll discover next. But time isn't as straightforward as it seems. As we delve deeper into our cosmic journey, we encounter a man and his revolutionary theory that forever transformed our comprehension of time. His name? Albert Einstein, his brainchild. The theory of relativity. Einstein's theory of relativity is a two-part scientific marvel. The first, special relativity, is predicated on the idea that the laws of physics are the same in all inertial frames, and that the speed of light is the same for all observers, no matter their motion or the source of light. This leads to some mind-boggling consequences, one of which is time dilation. Time dilation, in essence, is the difference in elapsed time as measured by two observers due to a relative velocity between them, or to a difference in gravitational potential between their locations. Think of it this way. If you were to travel near the speed of light, time would actually slow down for you relative to someone who stayed behind. This isn't a science fiction trope, but a real-world effect albeit one we don't typically notice in our day-to-day -day lives, because the speeds and gravitational differences involved are small. The second part of Einstein's theory, general relativity, takes this a step further. It describes how massive objects cause a distortion in space-time, which we perceive as gravity. To visualize this, imagine a trampoline with a bowling ball in the middle. The ball creates a dip, a curve in the trampoline's surface, now, if we roll a marble along the trampoline, it will move towards the bowling ball, not in a straight line, but along the curve. This is how gravity works in general relativity, and here's the kicker, this warping of space also affects time. Near a massive object, like a black hole, time would slow down significantly compared to further away. This is known as gravitational time dilation. In the realm of relativity, time becomes a flexible player in the cosmic ballet. From the ticking of your wristwatch to the spinning galaxies far beyond our reach, time, it seems, is intricately woven into the very fabric of the universe, dancing to the rhythm of relativity. As we delve deeper, time becomes even more bizarre. Welcome to the strange and startling realm of quantum mechanics, a branch of physics that has left scientists scratching their heads for over a century. Here, the rules of classical physics are tossed aside, and the very concept of time is twisted and turned in ways that defy our everyday understanding. In the quantum world, particles can exist in multiple places at once, teleport through barriers, and even be entangled over vast distances. But perhaps the most mind-bending quantum quirk is its implications for time. You see, at this subatomic level, the arrow of time, which in our macroscopic world always points from the past to the future, can seemingly reverse. This is due to a fascinating phenomenon known as quantum superposition, where particles can exist in all possible states simultaneously, until observed. This means that until measured, a quantum system can evolve both forward and backward in time. It's as if future events can reach back and influence the past, a concept that feels more at home in a science fiction novel than a physics textbook. But this isn't just theoretical musings, Experiments have shown real-world examples of this time reversal, such as the delayed choice experiment. Here, decisions made in the present can affect the behavior of particles in the past. It's a result that shakes our classical understanding of cause and effect to its core. These quantum oddities have significant implications for our understanding of time. They suggest that at its most fundamental level, the universe is not bound by the forward march of time as we perceive it. Instead, time at the quantum level is a swirling, dynamic entity, where past, present and future can intertwine and interact in the most unexpected of ways. In the quantum world, time dances to an entirely different rhythm. Yet, despite all its strangeness, this is the reality that underlies our universe, a reality that we are only just beginning to comprehend. So we've journeyed from the birth of time to its strange behavior in the quantum realm. We've traversed the vast expanses of the cosmos, back to the very moment when time itself was born with the Big Bang. We've grappled with the arrow of time, a concept that explains why we remember yesterday but not tomorrow, why time seems to flow in one unchanging direction. We've delved into the theory of relativity, 
where time dilation posits that time can slow down or speed up, depending on how fast you move or how strong the gravitational field around you is. And we've dipped our toes into the puzzling world of quantum mechanics, where time may not even exist at the most fundamental level. Yet for all we've learned, time remains an enigmatic entity. There's so much we don't understand, so much we're yet to discover. Our journey into the depths of time leaves us with more questions than answers, reminding us that the mystery of time continues to tick away.